Fisker Ma, uh, presiding officer, and of course, uh, hopefully one member of the front bench recognises that I said good afternoon. The word math is a very important word, not in English alone, but in Gaelic, where it means good. And I'm delighted that the uh, Cabinet Secretary in her contribution, right at the top of her contribution, said that we need greater public enthusiasm for maths. I'm seeing my Gaelic pronunciation has uh, clearly amused the Cabinet Secretary, and I'm sure entirely justifiably. Both the Conservative and Liberal Democrat uh, amendments, of course, delete all reference to maths uh, from the government's uh, motion that's uh, before us today. Uh, Mary Scanlon, in her contribution, emphasised the importance of maths, uh, but brings forward uh, a resolution that deletes all reference uh, to maths. Replacing it with numeracy, important, fair enough, but numeracy uh, was when uh, in the motion in the first place. Perhaps this uh, tells us that uh, Conservatives and Liberal Democrats uh, simply don't count uh, in this debate. But I have to say, that far from being the worst of legislators uh, in terms of their ability to deal with maths, and I want to draw your attention to the 1897 uh, Indiana Pie Act, uh, that was House Bill 246, which sought to define in law a value for pie and to define that value to be 3.2 rather than the 3.1416, etc., because it's a transcendental number and can it be defined in the real number system that we all know that in reality it is. Uh, that was passed on the 6th of February 1897. Fortunately, the Senate in Indiana had another look at it after the bill went to the Temperance Committee, uh, which may tell us something about the mood of the representatives who passed this bill in the first place. So if we get it wrong here, there's always the comfort that others get it even more wrong elsewhere uh, when we're dealing with maths. Um, the Making Maths Count initiative is a very important one, as the uh, Cabinet Secretary said in her press release uh, on the 3rd of September, maths has a vital uh, place at the heart of our curriculum. And when I was uh, a school student, uh, our uh, deputy head of the school was Doc Ingalls, a Lancastrian and a mathematician. And his duty was to impart enthusiasm for maths among his uh, pupils. So the very first thing he used to do with each class, and I was one of the classes with whom he did it, we went round the school searching for infinity. We looked in the dustbins, we took the blackboards down, uh, and we even went out to the sports field to contemplate infinity. And the point is that more than 50 years 55 years on from that, it still is imprinted in my memory, and I remember it. And of course, in the sixth year, uh, he brought his tax return to the class and did that with us, either to tell us how little he got paid uh, for trying to impart mathematical principles and practices to us, uh, or to show us that there was some modest value in being able to add up numbers and minimize the tax that you actually paid. But perhaps as an inspirational teacher, we most admired his celebration uh, of our uh, head teacher's appointment. He had gone for the job and not got it when he always used to come in on the anniversary of the head teacher's appointment uh, wearing a black tie. But uh, the motion that's before us uh, talks about mathematics, it uh, talks about numeracy. And I think uh, that there's an awful lot uh, that can be said uh, on that particular subject. And a lot of it's in quite unlikely places that we can use to enthuse our school students. In particular, I commend The Simpsons. The Simpsons is actually written by a team of writers, most of whom are mathematicians. And almost every episode of The Simpsons has a mathematical conundrum within it. Um, it has, for example, got a sideways reference to Fermat's last theorem uh, just after it had been solved, uh, which is four numbers expressed to the power of 12 on a blackboard in one of the scenes. And, of course, if you use a calculator, it shows that Fermat's theme theorem has been solved. But the reality is, the trick is, there's a digit about 17 points across to the right 
that shows that it has not actually been solved. Now that sort of thing introduced into the classroom, watching the symptoms, Simpsons being part of mathematics, might be a useful thing uh, for us to contemplate uh, encouraging teachers to do. Because if we make mathematics relevant uh, to real life, we make mathematics a matter of enthusiasm for our kids. It also takes part in, uh, in literature as well. And uh, Fiona McLeod has just spoken about literacy. Well, Dante's Inferno, one of the keepers of the gates of hell, was Belfegger. And he has his own special prime number named after Belfegger. It is 100000000000000666. Zero, 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 Whenever you zero, wish to zero, return zero, to the motion, zero, feel free, zero, Mr. Zero, 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 one. 31 digits in total. Um, and of course, so, and it's symmetric, and when you add up the digits, some it comes to interesting things as well. And mathematics is in religion. If you're a Hindu, you are guided by the Vedic texts. And the Vedic texts actually discuss what the Hindus believe are the five times of infinity, the infinity of point, of line, of area, eh, of uh, volume, and of course the infinity of time, and introduces the concept of one and of zero. So there are many places in our culture and in our lives uh, where uh, mathematics can be used As you draw to, to close, make please. relevant to people uh, the important thing. But perhaps the great uh, internet Mersenne Prime study is the best of all. The latest Mersenne Prime is, of course, uh, 2 to the power 58,885,161 minus 1. That's a really fascinating number to be getting on with, presumably.